Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the video today. So today I'm going to be heading down to a small local meet. Should be fun. It's for uh, one of our friend's birthdays. So uh, I'm going to be taking the GTR today. And uh, at this meet there should be a bunch of variety of cars, some Evos, um, maybe some other Nissan stuff. Uh, so yeah, so uh, that's going to be today's video. Just a quick uh, meet and greet and uh, checking out some new cars. Hopefully there'll be something uh, new that shows up today. So if you do enjoy today's video, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so that you get my updates when I do post them. And uh, please go and check me out as well on Instagram at Wrench Rampage as well on Instagram. All right, so I'm just heading to uh, the barbecue here for uh, one of uh, Devin and I's friends, our car friend. Uh, so there should be some good cars there today. Um, should be a lot of fun. We're gonna take a look at what's there and uh, hopefully check out some new cars that maybe we haven't seen yet. We'll see. There should be only about a dozen or so cars there, but no idea what's showing up. So it should be a lot of import stuff. So we'll see what happens. is hot out. And uh, Devin's back there somewhere. All right, so um, I had built this car Probably a couple of years ago by now. Looks really, really nice. The guy's done a lot of uh, sanding and polishing and the car turned out really, really good. All right, so back on the Evo 5 here, and uh, right now I have a new engine out of an Evo 6 that I just got in the last few days. Okay, so the Evo 5 is done. So lots has been done on this car. I turned it around in about uh, two months or so. So what I mean by that is from the time that I bought it as a roller to the time that it's running, driving, paintwork's done, interior's clean, all the issues have been dealt with. It was about two months and uh, I do this part time. This isn't my full time job. So um, that's pretty quick, I think anyway. And uh, so if we take a look at the car. Quite a bit of work's been put into this thing. So. Um, suspension's been gone through, brakes have been gone through, AYC has been gone through, uh, any corrosion has been corrected, new engine, transmission's been gone through, transfer case has been gone through, um, the interior was uh, gone through and uh, shampooed. So uh, back to present day here. So there's some uh, gold Enki wheels that were added to this car. Uh, they're a nice uh, five spoke. They're a little bit blocky, which I think is really cool. There's some uh, tinted marker lights as well. The guy redid the calipers as well at the front, which uh, looks really good. And uh, the front end is uh, fairly similar to when the car left my shop a few years ago. The uh, paint looks really good. He added a bit of tint to the windows, some rain guards. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, car looks fantastic. 
he's obviously done a whole bunch of work with the paint um like lots of polishing and uh probably some uh little bit of uh cutting and polishing as well the yellow fog lights are from uh when the car left me and uh as well, the one-piece headlights look pretty good, and uh, I know for a fact that he actually drilled out the headlight buckets on this car, so off of the fenders, so didn't have to cut anything. Really cool car. So uh, just checking out the uh, the wagons over here. We got a yellow and red wagon. So these are the. Uh, Evo 9 wagons looking really good got some uh, carbon fiber extensions on the side skirts and uh, the uh, Ken style roof wing which is really cool both uh, both cars have that wing those wings are exceedingly hard to get now they used to be widely available not so much anymore and uh, some cool uh, Advan RG wheels on the car. It's uh, neat to see uh, two of these wagons in the same place because they're not exactly common. I mean, JDM Evos are not exactly common to begin with, but uh, to have uh, two wagons in the same place is pretty cool really cool front end on the on the yellow one and uh, it's all uh, Voltex I believe and uh, the bodywork on that car has been uh, gone over quite a bit interior kind of matched the exterior he's got like some yellow features in there some upgraded uh, brakes on the back And, uh, yeah, the, uh, Voltex bodywork is pretty cool, though, on the front. It's, uh, really, really makes the front end stand out. And, uh, across the front, you got the, uh, color matched Cusco bar. The, uh, stability bar in the front. Well, oh, rigidity bar, I guess. And, uh, yeah. The red wagon's got the same. Nice wheels, nice multi-spoke wheels. These wheels are kind of a uh, were a kind of an add-on for the Evo Six. So the silver car here, this kind of thing was kind of brought back from the dead. It's been around the community for a while, uh, locally. One of the guys had cut out the spare tire well, and uh, this was one of the last owners that cut the spare tire well out. And I mean, it's it's not terrible; it's a bit rough, but uh, yeah, that that would be one thing that's uh, not a big positive. But uh, it looks like it was at least pieced in big ETS intercooler on the front I think the current owner is just uh, dealing with uh, trying to get the uh, front bumper to fit over that intercooler so probably requires some trimming and I think those are Evo 9 wheels on the car and uh, my friend Devin's Evo 5 my GTR is there you guys have seen those cars a lot, so I won't go too far into them. So, pretty cool lineup. There's a few cars that we haven't seen. Definitely, uh, the two wagons are a standout today for sure. bang out of nowhere uh, R34 GTR shows up very nice color car is super clean lots of HKS stuff on this car HKS intercooler turbos it's running on a uh, link G4 
upgraded endless brakes, some TEs on it. Uh, these are the same spec as the wheels on my R32. Very, very nice. As well, uh, it's really cool to see those carbon risers on the rear spoiler. Really adds to it. They're kind of a mines knockoff, but man, they work. Those risers are usually green on the mines cars, but it's a really uh, cool car, really well put together. All right, so that's it for the meet today. Uh, lots of fun, checked out a bunch of cool cars, uh, some cool Evo wagons, a R34 GTR showed up, uh, lots of neat stuff. Um, I'll be uh, again trying to hit up some other meets this summer and uh, you know weather dependent uh, whether I have a car that's running at the time or not but uh, I am uh, going to be continuing with some project cars coming up here pretty soon I have an engine coming for uh, Toasty the Evo behind me got to get this thing going and uh, yeah so that's gonna be coming out of the machine shop uh, fairly soon so stay tuned for that and uh, thanks for checking out the video today and have a good night